What's up guys? All right, so for today's dyno video, uh, fifth gen Z01. Just pull it up on the rack here. So I gotta get it strapped down still. But uh, 2013 Camaro Z01. And uh, this car originally came to us completely stock. Oh, maybe a year and a half ago. And uh, I might have done a video on it when we did bolt-ons on it, but it did start out stock. Um, it did come back with the bolt-ons, so we did uh, a cold air, a lower ring, lower pulley, and headers. So it now came back, the most recent work we did just a few days ago, is we added our Stage 1 LSA camshaft to it. So we got a Rotofab cold air, we got a ported throttle body, we got our Stage 1 cam along with the sporting mods, you know, uh, springs, retainers, or sorry, springs, push rods, trunnions. Um, does have the inch and seven eighths American Racing headers on it. And we did, so the car did have a 5% lower and now it's got a 28% lower. Still has a stock upper pulley and thermostat. Um, don't think, oh, fuel system. We did 1200 CC injectors cause he may do 85 in the future. But for now, um, we're just running pump gas on just 93 octane and uh, booster pump. So pretty basic deal here. Obviously we got into the engine a little bit with the cam, but uh, nothing too crazy. Again, pump gas with that lower ring. We're still gonna, we're obviously still up in the boost over stock. You know, stock on these things is about nine pounds. I think we were sitting about 10 pounds with the 5% lower and the headers and the cold air. Um, and at the end of the video, I'll post up stock the bolt-on numbers and the numbers the final numbers with the camshaft so we can kind of go through all of those and take a look at all those and see the gains from each uh each step of the way here so um car is an automatic so just keep that in mind um it's you know got stock wheels the it's got headers it does have the stock mufflers on it still so stock h pipe and stock uh, dual mode mufflers um so yeah nothing nothing crazy exotic on this one but still, we're still gonna hit, you know, decent power numbers, even on pump gas, we'll still see some good numbers out of a car like this. And a package like this uh, on, a, on a tire, like a slick and skinny, like a drag pack, will run tens. We've done that so many times easily, you know, full weight, you know, I'm talking full weight car on pump gas, no methanol, none of that stuff, uh, no methanol injection. Um, as, you know, stock torque converter. So the stage one cam, we, we do a lot of the stage one cam because it works really good with stock torque converter for drivability. Now, yes, you can, put bigger cams in on these stock torque converters, but it just gets, it, get, it gets kind of cumbersome in traffic. Um, when you're sitting in traffic and the car's really trying to push up against the brakes, this camshaft to idle under 800. So it's still, you know, you don't gotta be jamming on the brakes to try to hold it against an 850 idle or a 900 idle with a real big cam. So, and you still get a really big jump in power uh, with the stage one cam. So. So I'm gonna get, I got a base tune in it, obviously to drive around the shop, get it up on the rack here. I gotta get it strapped down. I'm gonna get some uh, some baseline dialing in tune. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of shift tuning on it too, just to kind of get the trans dialed in because we got snow here and the roads suck and they're salty and we don't wanna take cars like this out in that type of weather. So um, I'll do some shift tuning and then obviously I'll do some wide open poles, get the wide open throttle stuff all dialed in and then we'll take a look at some final numbers and some final data logs and, uh, and go from there. So 651, 609 torque. So that run was similar, similar temps. Again, all these temp all these runs, I try to do all the same temperatures, so. But anyway, that's looking really good for this setup. I'm happy with that. So let's um, like I talked about earlier in the video, let's take a look. Okay, so we'll bring up that pole that I just did. 
that we just filmed at 651. So yeah, nice, nice curve. Um, we'll look at the data log. Data log looks, looks really nice. Now, and I gotta, just bear with me guys, I gotta remember where we were, because my computer updated. Okay, so stock this car. Oh, no, 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 I think right here is our stock pole. Okay, nope, that's not our stock pole. So I'm gonna clear everything out, okay. That was our baseline, so this is what the car made stock. That was completely stock, paper, filter, and all. Then we did, like I talked about, we did that pulley and headers and a cold air and a rotofab. Nice gain, couple bolt-ons, and then we'll put the, uh, the camshaft that we just installed, that pulley you just saw, in the green. So the camshaft and the lower ring. So we did go up, so stock, headers, cold air, and 5% lower, stock upper pulley. And then the green, we did a, I wanna say it's like a 28% lower, 9.84, and our stage one camshaft. So two more pounds of boost from the red to the green, plus our cam equals big, big jump, 120 some there. Yeah, 128 horsepower. And over, yeah, 104 foot pounds of torque. So that's gonna make a big difference in how fast this car feels, for sure. So yeah, that's looking really good, guys. Um, and you can see how, obviously, when we do our cam, we do valve train, you know, we do springs, push rods, trunnions, and that allows us to extend the rev range pretty far out, too, so. Um, and yeah, maybe someday he'll do more mods. Um, he was he was even thinking at the 530 horsepower that was that was more than enough. But his uh, his son actually bought another one of our our cars with similar stuff done and with the camshaft and um, he just he had to have more. So he brought it back in and we got him hooked up. So let's go take a look at the dyno or the uh, data logs. Like I always like to do. Some of you guys may say I don't care. I saw the power numbers, that's all I need to see. Okay, so, bottom of the screen, yellow, that's air fuel. You can see I'm hovering right at that 0 0.8, 0 0.79. That's where I like to run these LSAs on pump gas. Um, yeah, I did I did kind of play with the timing a little bit up here. I think I was actually bringing a little bit too much timing in, um, which can actually hurt power if you go over the top with timing on pump gas. So you can see the timing, I'm pretty aggressive up on the top, but again, the boost isn't super high in this setup. Um, we're not trying to push the boost to the max limits of, of 93 octane. So with that little bit of cushion on the boost, we can throw some timing at it. And if, if we like doing it more that way versus trying to ink every last bit of boost out of it for the octane. Um, if that makes sense. I'm trying to think how to explain that better, but basically as you go higher and boost, if you, if you have a similar octane, like you're just 93 octane, as you keep going up on boost, you gotta keep pulling timing back, and there reaches a point where every pound of boost you go up, you're, you're, yeah, you're gonna gain some power on the boost, or you t would gain, you would gain power on the boost, but you have to pull so much timing back that you're actually losing power. So vice versa, as you pull boost down, then you can start adding timing back in, and, on these lower compression engines, you can actually go too far. If you've got good 93 octane, you can go a little too far on the boot or on the timing. So I actually flattened this out, and that's what kind of helped kind of pick me up to that 650 mark where I wanted to be. So, so yeah, the boost curve were about 12 pounds, 12 and a half pounds, somewhere in there. Typical boost curve for a you know, four inch cold air and stock snout non-ported LSA blower at these boost levels. You can kind of see it kind of comes up, kind of hits that peak boost in the mid range at 4,500. And then it drops just a smidge and then it starts picking back up again. And you can kind of see where about 6,800 is where it wants to kind of take off a little bit. That pink, that kind of that pinkish fuchsia line. And that's kind of where the camshaft is starting to run out, 6,800. and yeah, that's just about where the stock can or sorry, our stage one cam um, make power. It makes power about up to that point. And that's where you can see on the dynograph it starts to it starts to tail back off after that. So 
for bigger RPM stuff and more aggressive race stuff, obviously we have larger camshafts, but this cam is such a good street cam, works really good with the stock torque converter, super drivable, um, drive it anywhere, literally, drive it anywhere across the country you want. So this is looking good. Knock sensor line's nice and flat, we're not tickling those at all. Um, yeah, so that'll wrap it up for this one. Um, I did some shift tuning you saw in the video. I did some shift tuning on the dyno. We got four inches of snow here today. <laughs> and there's not kind of any, not any end in sight for winter, but you know, it's, a, it's it's the Midwest and that's what we deal with. So that'll do it for this one, guys. Keep checking back for more videos. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.